if the referendum does not pass, do you think the issue, the issue of a voice and the need for greater representation will fade from the culture, will fade from the cultural conversation? And what will you do if it does? I'm focused on the win, obviously, and that's when you're campaigning, that's what you have to do. Um, but certainly I think it would be incredibly damaging for the morale of the country. But I think this aspiration has been so well established through over a decade of work um, to get to this point. I don't believe this aspiration will leave just because we haven't had a success. I think a huge opportunity will be lost um, for us to move forward in a more unified way as a nation. And it's important to remind people that at the moment, the Australian constitution recognises coinage, it recognises lighthouses, it recognises Queen Victoria, but says absolutely nothing about the first peoples who have always been here. And we have an opportunity to remedy that um, with a practical expression through the voice to parliament. And I really hope that when um, voting day comes, people realise this opportunity is one that we um, should not squander. Um, we cannot be guaranteed it will come again. And um, the opportunity is now, and I really hope the country takes it with both hands. Peter Dutton has suggested that if elected as Prime Minister, he would push for another referendum for symbolic constitutional recognition. How do you feel about that proposal? It was always clear and is still clear now that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples um, are not interested in purely symbolic recognition alone. Um, we feel that it would be a wasted opportunity and um, lack the substance that gives it the kind of meaning and demonstrated meaning about the way that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples are valued as citizens in our own land. If the referendum does not pass, do you think that the issue of recognition and a voice will fade from the culture? And what if it does? How would you feel? Well, I think they're really um, questions for uh, the Albanese government in putting those two ideas as if they are one. Uh, as an Indigenous Australian, I'm really disappointed that the Prime Minister would sell us this idea on a vibe that this is the answer to improving the lives of Indigenous peoples and yet also say that if this fails at referendum, the highest bar for getting anything across, that he's not going to pursue either of those propositions. Nobody will win from the way this has been conducted. Mm -hmm. Peter Dutton has suggested that if the referendum fails, that he would push for a second referendum that's just on more symbolic constitutional recognition. Do, do you support that? What do you think of that? I fully, I fully support that. That's what people are telling me they want. They are completely committed to the concept of constitutional recognition. One thing that regardless of the result of this referendum that will happen, I think, is that Australians, politicians, policymakers are clearly on notice that we can all do better, we must do better, and I think we can do better regardless of the result. I just want to pick up on one last thing. You've mentioned a few times in this conversation that the voice is divisive. How? I believe the Australian constitution uh, belongs to all Australians equally. I do not believe voice belongs in the constitution. It is divisive because it only benefits one particular group and it doesn't need to be in the constitution. This could have been legislated only by the prime minister but he refused in his no compromise proposition to even consider that.